work on question 10 please yes we are going in the reverse direction today starting with question 10 okay when you do it when you take a couple it shouldn't be difficult because from a binomial distribution and the estimator for three hex the estimator for the three parameter is x bar plus one divided by n plus two and we want to find the the question is basically to find the bias and the variance all right to find the bias i mean i did 10 examples last week you may recall in the lectures right so to find the bias, you need to find the 
you need to find this, right? Okay, and this will be Yes. Now we can write this as Don't follow, just let me know, guys. Okay, um, okay. now what's the, what sh what's the expectation of Xi for binomials? NP, right? So this will be. and the n will cancel. The sum of p is np, so this will be 1 over n plus 2 times np plus plus 1 minus p. Right? And this is clearly not equal to 0. I mean, you can simplify this you can, if you simplify this, you get 1 minus uh, 2 p divided by n plus 2, which is clearly not equal to 0, right? Okay, so the bias is not equal to 0. Is that right? Yeah. Yes? No? Yeah. Do, do you guys follow? So the bi it's a biased estimator for P. Now the next question is to find the variance, right? I mean, th there's no need to copy this down. There's no need to copy this down. The next, you want to find the variance of the variance of P P hat, right? Uh, I mean, I, I, as you all know, I, I put, I podcast all my tutorials, and also I post the podcast after the tutorials on in the course website. So, so this is the variance of x bar plus one divided by n plus two. Now, this is. Now, if you take the variance inside, the constant doesn't matter. I'm, I'm sure you know. The variance of a constant you can ignore pretty much. Be because what you have here is the variance of x bar divided by n plus 2 plus 1 divided by n plus 2. So you can ignore the constant, the, sec the, the second term, which is a constant. So this will become the variance of... <coughs> x bar divided by n plus 2, which is, if you take the one n plus 2 outside, this is n plus 2 squared times the variance of x bar, right? And uh, the variance of x bar can write like this. Now if you take the variance inside the sum, 
right, you get 1 over n plus 2 squared 1 over n squared times the sum of the variance of xi. Right, I'm sure all of you know that the variance of xi for a binomial is is what's that guys? The variance of xi for a binomial is N. what? N P one minus P. You're right. So it's gonna be the N, one of the n here and the this will cancel and so the answer you will get is p 1 minus p divided by n plus 2 squared and this does approach to 0 as n approaches to infinity right okay so that's question 10 can you do question 9 please now question 9 we are going in the reverse direction Starting from question, we just finished question 10. Can you guys do question 9, please? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Let's take the example. You know, like it says here, it's bottom distribution between M and P rather than N and P. That should, that's the mistake, sir. That should be M and P. That should be M. Okay. Yeah. So in that case, if it was M, would you have to say that this expectation would be M P? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a typo, so. Yeah, I mean, question, question 10 has a typo. It should say N and P, not M. So can you please correct that in the question number 10? It, it says M comma P, but it should say N comma P, not this. You read. What I mean is this one. In, in this question here, it should say n comma p, sir, not m comma p. All right, I apologize for the mistake. All right, can you can you do a question nine, please? Now, question nine. <coughs> Let's do question nine, please. Now I'll get you like a couple of minutes. Shouldn't we? Sorry. Okay. Keep this. Uh, can you make sure everybody signs this? Yeah. Thank you. 
Alright guys, have you done question 9 guys? Yes or no? Let's see how we can do question 9. So, all right, this is so you have you have a random sample from a uniform zero theta. And we want this to be an unbiased estimator for theta. Now what does unbiased mean? It means the bias is zero, right? Hello guys, you, you follow me? I mean, we did 10 examples last week on bias. Uh, unbiased means that the bias is equal to zero. So you want the bias of, you want the bias of theta hat, which is the expectation of theta hat minus theta, which is the expectation of k times x bar minus theta hat, which is k times the expectation of x bar minus theta hat, which is k times right, and this is k over n. Are you guys listening or what? Now, what, what's the expected value of a uniform zero theta? Expectation is half of theta, right? So it's half of theta, right? So it's going to be So this is going to be k theta divided by 2 minus theta, right? And we want this guy to be equal to 0. So what should k be? So k be what? k will be? k is equal to 2, right? So the answer is k must be 2 for theta hat to be an unbiased estimate. You guess? You guys follow this or not? Yes, no? Alright, the next question is to find the variance of the variance of theta hat. So the variance of theta hat, right, which is because k is 2, is going to be the variance of 2 times x bar. Right? Now, if you pull the 2 outside, this will become four times the variance of okay all right now if you pull the n outside this will become four divided by n squared times the sum of the variance of xi now what's the variance for a uniform variable, I'm sure you know. Uniform zero theta variance is it's in the in the in the sheet I gave you on the first day of classes. If you look in the sheet you will see is is theta squared divided by twelve. Okay? So this guy here is four divided by n squared theta squared divided by twelve. Right? All right. So the answer is uh, theta squared divided by three times n, which I call to zero. All right. So that's question nine. Can you do question eight, please? Now question eight. Thank you.
Yes, okay.
how we can do question 8 guys it's, it's, I mean I did that's why I tried to you know I tried to do many examples here in the lectures just to give you <coughs> so you have you have a random sample from a normal with 0 mean and variance sigma squared and the estimator for sigma squared is this one And we want to find a k so that the estimator is unbiased, right? So unbiased, as you know, means bias is zero, right? So we want the bias of this guy, the bias of, <coughs> to be equal to zero. So that means, uh, we want the expectation of k times <coughs> we want this guy to be equal to zero, right? Now you may remember we did chi square distribution about two or three weeks back, I can't remember now, but one of the things I taught you guys is the following, that You see what I've done here. I have I have I have divided by sigma squared and multiplied by sigma squared, right? So I haven't changed anything. Now, do you know something about this? I mean, I mean you guys are too young. You should know. You should have a much better memory than I do. What what distribution the thing has? The thing in the box. Hmm? Don't you remember? Class card with what? What's the degree of freedom? N. N. Yeah. Class card with n degree of freedom. Just look look up guys. This is why this is why I keep giving you pieces to keep your you know keep in touch with the notes. You know? This if you look in the in the print sorry, in the scan notes you will see that that this guy has a classical distribution with n degree of freedom, right? Right, so you have No, what's the what's the expected value of a chi squared with n degree of freedom? You should, that's one of the properties I told. No? Come on, guys, don't look at me. Uh, it's, it's n, right? It's, it's the expected value of a chi squared is n. It's the degree of freedom is n. All right. So, and this will be equal to zero if k is equal to one over n. Right. That's it. That's the answer. And um, the second part is to show, I mean, I think we have already answered that question. The second part is to, is to find the sampling distribution of sigma hex squared, which we have already answered. Right? Yes. Oh, yes. 
Can you listen, guys? Question seven. All right, you have a random sample of size 10 from a normal distribution with parameters 48 and 36. So you have x1, part 1 is to find the probability that the sample variance lies between 25 and 60. Now, what is the sample variance? I'm sure I, I mentioned this in the class. Right? 
this is the sample variance, right? Do you remember the formula, right? The sample variance of oh, forgot. It's one over n times one over n minus one times the sum of x i minus x bar squared, right? All right. Now let me multiply by nine across. So if I multiply everything by nine, you get nine times twenty-five. nine times sixty. Right, now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide I'm gonna divide all three terms by sigma squared. What is sigma squared here? Sigma squared is thirty six. So I'm gonna divide everything here by thirty six. And you will see in a minute why I'm doing this. Now, let me ask you, just to check your memory, what do you know about this? It's something I taught in the class. What, what distribution does, does this have? You should know this. Chi squared with degree of freedom? No, n minus 1. N minus 1, yeah, so it's 9, yeah? Let's look back on the normal guys. So this is you can simplify this to twenty five divided by four divided five squared with degree of freedom nine less than this is also sixty divided by four. All right now you can work this out using if you if you know I'm sure you know R, right? You can work this out. Yeah. So the answer is just you just basically leave it like this. Yeah. You can work. You can compute this using R. Like if you want to know how, then, for example, the, the, the easy way to do it is, you know there's a command called P chi squared. This, this command computes the, the CDF of Casca distribution. So all you have to do is 60 divided by 4, degree of freedom, 9 minus P chi squared, 25 divided by 4, degree of freedom, 9. So if you, this command here will compute, this command will compute this probability, right? Yeah. All right. Part two. Are you, are you okay with this, guys? No. Oh, you lost. You okay, guys? Yeah. Part two. Um, part two of question seven. All right, we want we want the probability this probability to be equal to zero point nine. So we want to know how large n should be. N is the sample size, so that this probability is equal to zero point nine. Okay. So this is the same as saying that <coughs> right, this is n by okay, n. multiply both sides by n minus 1. Now the next thing is I'm going to divide both sides by sigma squared which is 36.
right? Now once again, by the same argument for part one, this guy here should have this guy should have a chi-square distribution with n minus one degree of freedom. So this implies that is the probability that a chi-square variable with n minus one degree of freedom is equal to 0 0.9, right? Okay. All right, now the question is how to solve for n. So this implies that the, prob the probability that a chi-squared variable with is by the reverse argument, right? Because if you take one minus of this, you get this. And if you take one minus this, you get 0 0.1. Right, and um, so, so basically, what you have is the this this guy here right, is, is equal to the, the the quantile. So basically, you will need to solve this. You can't you can't you can't solve this equation um, analytically. You have to solve it numerically, right? So basic. So what you you can do this in R. In, in R, you can solve our U. Solve the equation that D, D, so not D, I mean P, P plus squared P. Right. I, I will not go about how to go about solving this, but you can you can solve this equation. P chi square. P is for P stands for C D F. Because what you have here is C D F. P chi squared at n minus one twenty multiplied by twenty divided by thirty six at degrees of freedom n minus one equal to zero point one. All right. And there are ways there are in R there are ways about solving equations, but I will not go into that in detail. All right, can you now do question, let me see, question four, please, question four. Yes. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll put it there. Oh, sorry, sorry ma'am. Sorry, I didn't give it to you. The solutions are online. <laughs> But you can you can look you can look at the solutions online. You know it's the course website. It has all the solutions for all the questions. All the questions. It's raining. Yeah, it is. You had a question? We can't see the next one. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, it only goes to one second. Why? Look, you know, have to find the Anybody else wants to hand in number five?
I wanted to do a, like when I asked you for the, the thing like about Thursday because do you have to go to the No, I don't have to go to the like, you know, they are like running elections for the committee. Yeah, running elections for the committee, let's see. Like, and then I wanted to run for treasurer. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know what to say. And then, like, yeah. If I can go, then I go. If I can't, then I know. Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. Like, as in the church, it's very fine. Very fine. I can This is for the right one. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to go for this. But then, it's like, it's in part of the... Yeah. Okay, I'll run this year. This is a yes. Oh, next year. But if you want to go, I can ask you to change the time. No, it's like, then I have a skill to not go, because, so you actually don't want to go? I don't want to go. Okay. I, I, what do we do? <laughs> it's like something where you They tell you have to do it next day? No, like, no, because the study final was like, then you need to have two procedures in two class. Like, you have to step <coughs> yeah. So you have to hold two positions to run on Or in the student union. So I was thinking, this is like quite easy for me. And math students, I can do that. And then they don't need money on skills. Just to be in the class. Just to be in the class. The captain is a posh. So it's just very yeah. fast. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a. Yeah, did we have the first week? Oh my god, it's hard so fast. It's the. Uh, it's a good thing. I mean, I went to the. I don't know. Alright, just before you go, just let me show you how to start. listen guys just before you go you have two independent random samples right the first is of size 10 the second is of size 15 both from this so if x power 1 denotes the, the mean for the first sample what distribution will it have this is something I did in the class long time ago normal with what 20 and, me, and the variance will be The variance will be sigma squared divided by n, which is 10. All right, and in this case, you should call the sample mean x part 2. This will be 20 with sigma squared divided by n, which is 50. All right, so the and and you're interested in the def you're interested in the difference between the two. So you you want to take the difference. And since these are independent, since these are independent normal variables, the difference will be zero, right? And the variance will be the sum of the two, which is um, three over ten plus three over fifteen. All right. So, so the difference has a normal distribution, and the question is to find the probability that this guy here is greater than 0 0.0.3 0 .3. right I'm sure you can do this because you know the district you know the you know the distribution of this which is this right mm -hmm. so using this result you should be able to figure out this mm -hmm. right 
And the solutions for all the questions are online in the course website. I'm sure you know where, they, where that is, right? I'll see you guys this afternoon, three o'clock. Please make sure, if you haven't handed it in page five, please make sure you do that before three. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Look in the notes, man. Look, did you look at the, the lecture, the stand notes? It says mu comma sigma squared divided by n. So it should be 10, not 9. And the same thing here, it should be 15. It should be 15 here. Okay. Just, just look in the look in the lecture notes. In the, yeah, the script or the stand notes. Both of them give the result. Okay. 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 All right, man. Have a good day. Hello, sir. How are you?